Some people have reported having poor battery life lately with the S24 Ultra after the most recent update. I'm going to show you here in this video how to try and get some better battery back. And, well, we'll get to that in a second. But I want, I want to talk about it for a second. The S24 Ultra has really good battery life. 5,000 milliamp, big battery, has a Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. And from my experience, since I've owned the phone for a couple of months now, it's been pretty good. Sometimes when it comes to the software updates, it can mess with a few things that might throw it off for a few days, maybe about a week. Maybe your phone needs to relearn a few things. But if you still experience, after a couple of days of an update, having bad battery life, you can go in and you can do this step, which is to put it in light mode. Now, I'll show you here on the phone. Very easy. Uh, all you need to do, go to your settings. So once you get into your settings, you're going to go down to device care. And then once you get to device care, scroll down to where you get to performance profile. By default, it's going to be on standard. And if you put it on light mode, you can read right here. Prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed. Now, it's not a drastic reduction. We learned this last year with the S23 Ultra. The S23 Ultra was clocked at like 3.36 gigahertz. And if you put it into light mode, I think it throttled it down to like 2.86 gigahertz, if I remember correctly right around that ballpark, which is still crazy super fast. It does everything you need it to. And even if you're worried about it throttling like you're gaming, it doesn't work in gaming mode. So what this does is basically it keeps your phone from running at like 100% power and it throttles it down to like 85% power, which is still insanely powerful if all you do on a normal basis is text and email and surf the web and do social media. If that's all you're doing, why waste the extra battery for no reason? It's kind of like an eco mode. It's like <laughs> for your car where it throttles it down just a little bit to where it saves some battery, but it's not like running at a cheap, old, crappy quad-core process or anything like that. It's not like we're going from 3 gigahertz down to 1 gigahertz or 3 gigahertz to 1.5. It's just a slight reduction, but you really won't notice any difference. I've used light mode for like a week or two at a time just to test it out because I did a video about this before last year, and yeah, it's just really no noticeable difference in almost any way, but you get extra battery. So, one... You can do this all the time to get extra battery life. And two, if you find that after an update comes out, like what some people are experiencing here lately, then this will be a way to get you a little bit extra battery back and wait till the next update comes out if you feel like that's what's caused the problem. And then you can get back onto normal standard mode. It's very easy to go through and switch it. Like I said, you go to settings, you go to device care, and then you just switch it from standard mode to light mode. So it's really not that big of a deal, but a lot of people don't know about it. I made a specific video last year talking about light mode and some of the benefits and how it impacted the battery life and things like that. So you should find that you might get a couple extra hours of screen on time out of this, definitely several extra hours of overall battery life and to get you well in through the day. I mean, this phone already, it lasts me all day long. I don't really have any problems. I haven't really noticed any issues, but the thing is I have a Samsung unlock model. I'm using it with T-Mobile. Some folks may be using AT&T, Verizon, whoever knows what else. And I'm at home a lot of the time, so I use a lot of Wi-Fi. So sometimes you can have different phones with different carriers or even certain phones working in certain areas because here's something a lot of people don't think about. There's like 20 different LTE and 5G bands out there. Like your modem is not just connecting to one signal. There's a lot of different signals. Well, in certain areas, you might be using one frequency. Maybe it requires more battery to use that frequency. Maybe it's locked into that one and you're using more battery because of that than you are in a certain area you were in before. So there's a lot of different things that can influence battery life. If you're using the camera a lot, that's going to drain your battery really fast. If you're playing games, that's going to drain your battery faster. And of course, having all the features on. Like There's a lot of great features in this phone. Adaptive refresh rate for that 120 hertz refresh rate. I mean, you can use adaptive brightness, the always on display. I mean, there's a lot of different features in this phone that really do use a lot of battery. So, I mean, if you want to turn off the always on display, if you want to change it to 1080p instead of Quad HD Plus, if you want to turn off the 120 hertz refresh rate, if I, did I just say that? I don't know. Anyway, so <clears throat> there are things that you can do to maximize battery life. And actually, tell me, let me know. I made a, bat, a video about this the last couple of years for certain phones about tips and tricks on how to get better battery life, but I haven't made one for this phone because since it's come out, it's got pretty good battery life. I mean, I average about eight hours of screen on time, which is a lot. I mean, if you, Eight hours of actually using the phone is a lot of battery life, but I heard a lot of people complaining and a lot of people in the comments saying, have you heard anything about this? What can I do about this? Why am I getting worse battery life after this last update? I've seen some people saying I was getting eight, nine hours, and I'm getting four to five hours. So that's pretty substantial. 
So what I would recommend, follow the steps that I just told you about in this video, and I'll, I'll go through this one more time. It's very, very easy. So just swipe down from the top of your screen. You're on the home screen. Swipe down from the top, hit the settings icon, scroll down to device care, and then once you get to device care, you're going to scroll down to where it says performance profile and just click on or tap on light instead of standard. Try it out. I, I challenge you. Try it out for a couple of days. See what kind of meaningful difference in battery that you get. And if you're somebody who monitors your battery very, very closely, I would even encourage you to try and change it between that and standard mode. You may find that you have no tangible difference in your actual phone's performance, but you're getting extra battery life. Just because whenever you're running a lot of these apps, if you're running Twitter or X or uh, Instagram, or you've got a couple things in the background, or you're like me and you play Boom Beach, like these things have been around for generations of phones. They've been around for like 10, 12 years. They do not require very much battery. They do not require very much power. So there's no need to throw 400 horsepower at an app that requires 10 horsepower to run. And that, in essence, is where light mode comes in. So instead of, like I said, instead of running at 100%, it's running at like 85%. But just that extra 15% reduction in power, even though you don't notice it, it adds up in the long run, especially for standby time, especially when you're not using your phone with the screen on a whole lot. And it gives you extra battery life with the screen on. So, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. But this happens. I, it's funny, I, I try not to make emotional or reactionary responses to a lot of these things because it happens with every phone. I, it really does. You're not alone in this. I have people that have been like, oh, ever since the last update came out for the Pixel phone, my battery life sucks. Anytime a new update comes out, somebody always is saying their battery life has issues. Now, is it onesie twosie? Is it threesie foursie? Is it a thousand people? I don't know. And it's not always possible to pinpoint because like I said, I'm not experiencing this issue. So if I'm not experiencing it, it's hard for me to dial in and say, okay, this is exactly what's wrong. But there are a lot of people right now who are still waiting on their update with the Pixel phones for April. They haven't received it. But by and large, I discovered it's people on AT&T because AT&T hasn't really released it yet. I don't know if they need to do additional carrier testing or what, but it's a large subset there. So if you're having battery issues, please go to the comment section. Let me know what phone you're using, what variant. This is, could also be for people with the Exynos, right? Well, no, I'm sorry, there's no Exynos in this, but there's an Exynos, the S24 and the S24 Plus. Maybe some people with the S24 and the S24 Plus are having issues with battery life. Maybe people with the Snapdragon are not. I don't know. Everybody with the S24 Ultra has a Snapdragon. But I would say, if you could please, go to the comment section, leave a comment saying what carrier you're using and what phone you're using and what battery life experiences you're having. So if you leave that, then I can kind of get a good broad landscape of who's having what issues. Maybe I can try and pinpoint it, but I guarantee you this light mode will help out some. So definitely go test it out, try it out, save yourself some battery life, and well, let me know if it works. Come back and report your findings. So that's all I got in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.